I recently ordered a 3 watt amplifier from Amazon and you know how small this looks? Really small. So today we will be reviewing how it works and where it can be used. Let's see how. The connections on this board are the DC power supply, the input audio and the left and right channel audio outputs. We will be connecting a 3.5mm jack at the audio input of this board. For that we will be utilizing this aux cable. For the power we will be using this USB cable. As you can see one end of this USB cable is cut to expose the wires. First we will start by soldering the two ends of the USB cable positive and negative to the positive and negative of the board. Once done, cut off the excess of wire at the terminals to avoid any shorting. Now let's connect the audio jack. For this, we will be cutting this aux cable. Expose the wires inside and then strip the ends of this wire. Before soldering the audio input, identify the connections. Here the yellow one is the ground, while the other red and blue are the right and left connections. Now I will solder this onto the board. Here I will be using only one channel for amplification. So what I will do is, I will connect two 1 kilo-ohm resistors like this and I will connect the right and left channels to the open ends of the resistors. I will solder the connections to make the joint firm. After insulating the connections, I will connect the joint end of the resistors to the left channel input. The resistors will help to mix both the channels and also to avoid any amplitude distortions. Along with this, I will also solder the ground wire. Last but not the least, the speaker. I am using a 3 ohm speaker here as the amplifier is designed for a 3 ohm speaker. Solder the speaker to the left channel output as we are using only one channel here. So now the circuit is done, let's test it. I will be using a power bank to power up the circuit. Let's connect the jack to the mobile and start playing songs. As you can see, the sound is louder when I hold the speaker up, not touching the ground. I tried measuring the current going to the amplifier and I could see that it takes close to 800 milliamps at full volume and down to 200 milliamps at the least volume. So the power consumption is anywhere between 3 to 4 watts. So that's all for today's video. I hope you like this tiny 3 watt power amplifier review. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll be making a Bluetooth rechargeable speaker using the same tiny 3 watt amplifier. Till then, take care and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.